Here are the bolts to fasten the counterbalance arm to the stabilator. Now I need to put grease on the bare steel of the arm. The tough part about attaching the stabilator to the fuselage is that it is really a two-man job. But since I'm by myself today, I'm going to try to figure something out. Right now, the stabilator is resting on two adjustable height tables. I need to free up those tables to figure out how to use them to get the stabilator into position for attaching it to the fuselage. I made a temporary support to hold the stabilator. Here are my tables with adjustable legs. Looks like I only need to raise the height of the table one inch. This will put the stabilator into perfect position to put the attach bolts in. Luckily I had some foam pads that came with some solar panels that I ordered. They are exactly one half inch thick. I'm going to cut these in half and put two on each tabletop to give me the inch I'm looking for. Before the counterbalance arm can be bolted to the stabilator, it has to be turned on its side to get it through the hole in the aft bulkhead of the fuselage. I then temporarily bolted the counterbalance arm with the weights attached to the stabilator. Thanks to the auto flip feature of the GoPro, it videoed this clip in portrait and not landscape. Sometimes automatic features like this can bite you in the so I used my software to flip the image on its side. Here you can see how the table setup and foam pads made it somewhat easy to put the final two bolts in. Here my sweetie demonstrates the accomplishment. After all the other pieces have been added to the stabilator, it will need to be taken off and put back on several times to adjust the counterbalance weights to make the stabilator sit in a neutral position. These bolts are really hard to get to, so I made a couple of handy little tools to simulate the bolts, making it easier to take the stabilator off and on repeatedly. These are paint rollers with strong steel shafts that just happen to be the same bolt size width as an AN4 bolt. Easy peasy. Here you can see where I removed the plastic roller and used my Scotch-Brite wheel to reduce the diameter of the shaft a little bit more to make sure it will fit in the AN4 bolt hole. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing.